Hello and welcome to another video. It's been about, I think, probably a month or two months since my last update. And although I haven't done a great deal down here, I just wanted to do a, sort of another recap about mm -hmm. things I have done in the meantime. Um, so let's just all start over here. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot of figures now on the shelves. Uh, I've been buying a lot of these Disney um, Infinity figures uh, from Home Bargains. They have them for one ninety nine. Uh, so mm -hmm. I've got quite a few of those. I have bought some on eBay and Amazon and some other places um, as well. I think I've about thirty five in total, and I've got about another sixty five or so that I need to get. Um, not sure when I'll get them because. I thought I'd try and pick them up for no more than sort of £4 each. Um, and this is what I really want. And although they're not as expensive as they used to be, the prices so them are still quite high. Uh, also, these Mario figures I mentioned before. Picked these up uh, recently. Uh, the Ghostbuster figures from I think b and Bargains. There was a one uh slime one as well but i didn't see that one and there's also uh <laughs> stay puffed marshmallow man but that was like 13 quid and wasn't too great so i thought i left that one um and there's some more disney infinity figures there so you've got quite a lot on the shelves and i've been picking some of these what they're called daubs made by the same people who make funko pops these are only Two, I think two ninety nine or three ninety nine each. So I've got a few of those. Um, I did pick up some more yesterday. If I can find one of them, put them down there. Probably ones I wasn't too bothered about picking up originally. Some Stranger Things, one and Fallout and things like that. But I thought I might as well get them for the price. And I've got an app as well for this and Disney Infinity figures, so I can mark off which ones I've got. Um, so there's probably some other ones I could have picked up which I've passed on, but uh, if I see them I'll, I'll get them. But I thought I might as well get them, they're cheap enough and they look quite good on the shelf. And I've got some other ones here, I think I might have shown these previously. I'm still trying to find a Black Panther one of these, but um, not how much luck. So I've got quite a few different all Superman and Batman ones in different things, but I sort of like, I like the look of them. I mean, some of them don't look too great. Um, some of the paint work isn't great on the faces, and I do pass on those ones. But on the whole, um, those ones aren't too bad. Um, got some these ones, Q fig ones. Not seen any more of those. Not sure how many of those there are, but um, I'm not too bothered about hunting those down online if I see them in store or buy them. Unless I sort of might look one day to see what there is and if they're sort of cheap enough and. I may pick them up. Um, probably my favourite Disney Infinity figure there, the Donald Duck. Although I do like the Olaf one as well, which I showed there. And there's a joke thing I had from a Zabby box a while back. To show you some of the figures in the other room while I'm talking about those. Uh, these ones I picked up, um, these have been sort of recent ones. They're made by Schleich, they're just sleek figures. Um, I think there's a few of them. I'm aware of probably at least 15 or 18. I picked quite a few up at Bin and Bargains in Birmingham for um, Thursday. I think it was Thursday. And picked a couple more over the weekend. One from Home Bargains and one not from BM, although I haven't brought those down yet. It's a Batman and Bane one, although they're separate figures. So that's sort of what I've been doing with that. Um, in terms of anything else, I have sort of done a little bit of reorganising with the shelves, not a huge amount. Um, I've got a lot of things shoved on there, uh, a bit disorganised. Um, I do need to move those around and then put other things on there. I've got, for instance, a load of arrow boxes on there. I've got things behind there, but uh, I do want to organise these. I think when I get my next two bookcases up, which at the moment... Not sure when, because the weather isn't too great at the moment. 
I'm having to take them outside to put the backs on, so I'm thinking probably build them all outside anyway, and then bring them in. Um, so I need to be dry, because uh, I'm not obviously building them when it's raining. And I will need to um, get some of these shelves down as well to put them in, because um, I don't have got anywhere to put any until I take some more, take some more shelves down. And the no reason to build them outside is because I'm going to need to have some floor space to put some of the stuff off the shelves I'm taking down. And I won't really have that if I need to leave space to build the bookcases, so I can sort of use space on the floor. Um, then, as long as I've got enough room to carry it in, that's fine. Um, so I've still got sort of areas here I need to um, reorganise. I've got mm -hmm. some 88 Films titles there, which I need to put on. I've got some more upstairs, which I'm watching. Um, so I need to make move things around and get those on the shelves as well. Uh, as I mentioned, found the batch of TV shows which need to go on, and I picked them more, some more recently, which then need to go on. So I'll have to uh, arrange that shelf a bit differently. Uh, so I've been putting labels on as well, um, not putting more on since, but being my label printer, um, look quite good on there. Not particularly straight, but that's fine. Just sort of um, to know where things are. It doesn't sort of sound like too much, but you can sort of read the text and the stickers that come off fairly easy if I need to move things around. I have um, filled this, um, it's called, uh, I think it's called Nedby, filled this up with uh, DVD singles. And I'll say filled up, it's completely filled up. I've got some more in there which I need to put on, but I haven't got any room. But I have got that other one, um, which is in this corner, or the, the plan was to leave it in that corner, but I want me to leave it there now, so when I get the shelf um, taken down, I can get that moved from there, and I'll put it next to that other one. Um, should be able to fit it next to there, okay, I think, without blocking access to that shelf there. And then the rest of those DVD singles can go on, because uh, I've got space in that other one. And then the albums, which have DVDs with them, We'll just follow on from there. And I've got a couple of those to bring down as well. So I will have some spare space on there afterwards. If anything else, I do find that needs to go on there. And I'll say with the, putting the more bookcases up, I will move these figures. I've only put them on these shelves, the shelves at the moment. So I've got no else to put them. Um, but really I'm trying to just keep on, on, the, on the top row in front of the CDs. I'm not really wanting to block the DVDs or Blu-rays off. Uh, but I've got another five bookcases to go up. Um, so hopefully I can be able to move them all onto there. And may, depending on what room I've got, put some on top or I may have to go into under the shelf. But if I can try and keep them on top, um, that's sort of the plan I'm going for. So I don't really want to block anything off in the Solind. I'm not going to need to access the CDs. Um, and I've got Thing I've got a crate or crate and a half, two crates worth of CDs. Um, so again, a couple of bookcases up. That's my next plan. Get at least two up. I can then um, sh should have been even many boxes I've got on there. Then I'll start putting the arrow ones on. Um, so I've got quite a lot of boxes. So I think those on on top. And I'm hoping with the other bookcases, I'll have enough room to put all the boxes on the top. Um, I've got some other ones upstairs that I might just bring down, but at the moment I'll leave them upstairs because I haven't really got any room down here. And then, so I should get all my CDs on there. And then I'll look to find, I think, similar to what I've done there, just put, put the 7 inch vinyls on the shelf as well, on the top shelves, because I can't really use them for anything else, and I can't reorganise these to fit another one in. I mean, ideally I'd like to have got another one in there, but. The issue is, there's a, I think I mentioned in the previous video, um, there is a middle shelf, which is fixed. And because where the holes are, there's not, don't think it's so bad at the front, but at the, at the back, there's not holes all the way. So, although I'd like to put the shelf a bit lower, because not that shelf, obviously, you can see, is quite a bit of space at the top. And the space I've got there, and 
the extra space I've got here, if I put it towards that shelf, then I could get another row of films in. But I think the problem was it was um, to do with the holes at the back. But what I'll probably do is when I put the next one up there with number five, I will just double check that. Um, I mean, I don't really fancy moving all these shelves down, but I'll see. I mean. I'd rather keep CDs on, on a shelf, and that seems the most logical place to do it. I don't want to buy any more of these, because the, these are a bit awkward together. And I've got nowhere to put these as they are, I think. Two there is fine. I mean, the plan was to put them on the stairs here. But I'm thinking, I've got um, two, I bought two four-door units from Wilco. Unfortunately, they don't have the little compartment at the top like they used to. They've changed design, but they've still got four drawers. Um, so what I'll do is I've got one in my sort of sitting room while I watch films. I've got one full of uh, J cards. So I'll just swap the drawers around and put one on the stairs. And then I've got a spare one, um, which I'll probably use one of the drawers straight away because I have got a few J cards I can't fit in. And also got a pile of J cards, which... I've sort of shoved in, which I haven't really got room for in the, in the drawers I've got at the moment. So I'll have to free some base in those, tidy them up a bit so they're not so cramped. Then I've got enough then to last me for a while. Um, I've got some folders. I've got the sort of the flat J cards, which I'll probably bring down up on top. Um, so the, the drawers, the little compartment top would be new for because I have got some booklets, which I want to... I've got in plastic tubs, which ideally... It's all plastic tubs, which I'd like to put in the top bits, but obviously they haven't got those anymore, and I'll just basically have to put the tubs on top. And I've got one with, um, I've had DVDs blu rays replaced because the original one disc was faulty or something was wrong with it. I've got those in another tub, so I'll probably um, say put the tubs on top there, then I'm I think I'll probably, I've got three here, so these are sort of three um, shelves, well, bookcases. Um, so I'll, two of those will be up next. I've obviously unpacked one there, another one there. Then what I may do is um, just shove the spells on the stairs then, because um, I've got three, three of the uh, five there, the main bits, and then two of the long bits. So I may put, move one on there, so I'll have bit of clear space and once I've done two two more um, so I have got obviously some empty um, shelf space uh, let's have a look at the bottom so I've sort of I've tried to allow, um, leave space in areas uh, for ones that I've got upstairs I will come down and watch them and obviously anything else I buy just so I don't um, have to keep moving stuff around because I've run out of space. So I'll get day films. I've got a bit of space for there. Um, and obviously I can move these up. I've seen these park circus tiles can move down because I'm not going to get any more of those. But so the, the key thing is once I've got these other five bookcases up, <coughs> this is me, I'll, I'll be able to see how much space I'll have spare in total. I was like, I may move some of this stuff onto there as well. Um, some of these DVDs and crates. But at least I can sort of clear this floor off a bit. Because some of this stuff in crates on the floor are blu rays and things which have got, are going to go on the shelves. Um, I did buy myself a. Just to get out of the thing I'll show you. Best of can, anyway. I did buy myself a laser pointer I was in Lidl yesterday I noticed um, well a laser measurer they had them in stock uh, so when they were all offers so I'll just hit it on I don't know what we'll be able to see it. so you can all see that red dot there so what I can do is I can point on that measure the person measure and it says it's 1.155 metres from where I am um, that's going to be useful because when I put these um, other ball cases up, I'll need to sort of measure to the wall uh, from a certain point. 
and fine you should take measure but after a certain sort of length of uh, rolling that out uh, it does sort of to sort of bend in the middle that's a bit awkward so two people's fine someone can hold it uh, so what I can sort of do is sort of somewhere I think I'm going to stop the edge of the bookshelf will be and just point at the wall because um, I've got this uh, see this bookcase sticks out a lot more than the shelf that was there previously uh, and because the other ones one that's going to go um, in place of this one is also the same depth I can't have it um, right in the corner because it will basically um, touch right to the edge of this one or the, there won't be much gap and it'll be awkward to get to stuff um, so I want to properly measure I think I can get um, the um, bookcase start it sort of level with that um, obviously be flat against the wall and I think it'll come up to just about there somewhere hopefully or somewhere there but nothing further than that and I can put that there and then when I come to put the three on this wall the, um, it won't be the full length of that it's just off the shelf uh, again with this sticking out and then one back there sticking out I should hopefully have it so touch the corner and there's no overlap and I should have to fit three in there and then with that there as well so I'm thinking I should be alright for uh, fitting them all in obviously there will be a bit less room in here um, having obviously bookcase all sticking out so will be a little bit cramped in there which is why I want to try and get some of these DVDs on the shelves but only if I've got a lot of space um, so obviously that will move I will have some sort of dead space in the corners but I can't really do much about that I've got obviously book boxes up there but I've put those bookends on so nothing should fall off um, hopefully because if anything falls over the corner I'm not going to be able to get to it easily um, especially if well that corner because I'd have to uh, move the bookcase out from there, but then I'd have that one. It's probably the way, um, but I'll, say I'll, I'll I'll have a better idea once once I've sort of got the one up here as to how I'm going to be for space there. Uh, possibly um, I might have to get rid of the shelf. I didn't really want to, but I think it'll be the same sort of position as in this side as in I had one of these there but because of the size of it um, it went right up to there and I couldn't get that bookcase in and it would have been a bit obstructed so I took that one down but those other boxes on there which I'm putting on the top so I not really lost in any sort of space um, and some double stacking things anyway um, Although I probably have less total shelves, it, um, and obviously taking a bit less sort of distance across, because I'm double stacking, I'll still have uh, more than the frame. So this more may have to come down, but what I probably will be able to do is I've got a light switch behind there. I don't know if you can sort of see it there at the moment, um, which is I can access. Um, that's the reason I didn't want to put another bookcase there, so I would have got another billy bookcase. But um, I didn't want to block the light switch off because I need to be able to turn the light on. But if I have to take this down, what I may do, um, again, depending on, on room, um, as in being able to fit another one of these in there, um, I may get the light switch moved onto that wall there. I've also got two plugs there. Um, also had some plugs behind there, which I hadn't actually used, but they're blocked off and... I know I've seen people cut out holes for them, but I'm not doing that because, first of all, I don't need to access the plugs. Uh, I don't want to cut holes into these um, bookcases because I don't want to ruin them. And if I ever move them elsewhere at any point, it may be where I put it. It's not blocking anything, and I've just got a hole in the back of it, and it's just I don't really want to do that. But I have got two plugs there, uh, behind there, so... I mean, I suppose I could even get the plug moved to there, I suppose. So I could have the light switch up there and the plug down there. Then it wouldn't matter about that being blocked off because there wouldn't be a plug or light switch there. 
then I'll get um, another Billy bookcase there. And then, again, I'll tell, I don't know if I need need all that extra shelving, but I'll, I'll know further down the line, but I'll be able to um, um, put some of my stuff on there, because I think this will have to come down anyway, fortunately. Um, so I am going to leave some shelving space. Um, but I'll say if I can fit another one in there, that's great. Um, obviously, I need to order another one. But probably if I can find a way to get it and um, pick it up from the store. Because otherwise I'm paying £35 delivery. And if I'm not ordering 9 or 10, I have 9 billies and 2 of those sort of narrow Falbo units. Not, um, not Falbo, that's the TV son. Uh, Ned B. I didn't mind actually uh, paying for delivery charge for that because I was sort of spending like 800 quid, you know, buying extra shelves. But if I'm just buying one, um, it's a bit expensive, so I'll probably try and find. If I can find access to a vehicle that's large enough, I can get it um, picked up, um, buy it in store, and then carry it, take it back in that. And then I want to have a either blank wall here, and then this will all be new bookcases, and I won't have any old shelving units in here, uh, and they'll be quite good. And then I may use that to swap some of the DVDs on, but um, so yeah. But then I want to buy um, an extra bully bookcase when I bought these because obviously I wasn't sure which shelves I'd have to take down, what room I'd got, and I didn't want to spend eighty pound or whatever it was on a bookcase and not need this because I've got nowhere else I can put it. Uh, so I thought it's best to just order what I know I need and then. Anything else extra, then I can sort out afterwards. Um, so I've got say this issue I mentioned with this, where it looks like it's leaning forward. Um, don't think it's going to fall over because there's obviously some weight to it. Um, I think probably because the floor's slurping slightly, uh, which is why that's doing that. Uh, I mean, I can. I've got the brackets. I can attach it to the wall, but I've got this little plinth rail thing going across there, which means I can't actually push it flush to the wall as I'd like to. Uh, I mean, I could take it down, but obviously, I don't know. This, this is to take down, and also, I can't access the back of that tap one down without moving this. And if I move this, I've got to empty it, so I don't want to be doing that. But. I think it's fine, I mean, as long as it's sort of not affecting the space I've got here to put another one in. And as I say, these are, again, I'll try them as close as I can, but you can see it looks, that one looks a little bit higher. Um, and there's a little gap, but say it's not a perfectly flat floor and there's carpet there and stuff. I mean, you've got the, you've got the privilege um, of having a nice level floor, you know, I really would, um, obviously a bit more level than public carpet, then you know, it's easy to have everything nicely put together, um, and nice and neat, the same height, no gaps, and then I've got these, and just basically, I think I've mentioned it before, they just sort of, there's a little hole there at the top, Oh dear, I've dropped that. Shit, I'll, I'll tip it that up. Um, yeah, so you can sort of attach them together, hold them together, but so I can't do that. I mean, I did with that one, but again, it's not perfectly flush with the other one, so I, le I left, I, took it, I put one in, but I took it out because I thought it was the point. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get one out in a moment, so I've got, I've got a rule I think I can use to get that out with. Um, so yeah, and... Uh, as I mentioned, I've got um, so I've got my new. Well, I say new. I've had a few months now. My OLED TV. I've moved my 15-inch TV, which was in my sitting room, into my bedroom. Um, the TV I have in my bedroom, 32-inch Sony. Uh, that will come down here. So I was going to buy one for down here, but I thought, well, I'm going to have a TV sitting around doing nothing. So why not put the bigger one in my bedroom? Get the benefit of that. And then I can bring that smaller one down here and put that on the wall. 
warm myself into the soundbar, um, same model as the one I've got in my bedroom for the TV, and I've warmed myself into the Fire Stick. Um, not the new Fire Stick, because there's new ones come out, which is got um, like a standby button and volume on the remote. But not sure what else is different with it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so like down here, so I can basically watch YouTube or listen to these or something while I'm down here for the soundbar. Um, so I'm gonna have to get two plugs there, um, or two a two plug thing. But I bought myself a three plug adapter because the TV, the Fire Stick, the soundbar, and so forth all need a plug. So rather than having four plugs there, I can sort of plug three of them into the one, three things with the three plug adapter in one socket, and then have the else plugged into the socket. Um, so that's sort of one of the last jobs that and bringing the first um, plastic drawings down because at the moment I've got stuff on the stairs. But I'll say as I put these bookcases together and free and then get this packaging out of the way and get this stuff on the shelves, I'll have some more room. And then the last job I mentioned is to get my exercise bike down here. Um, somewhere I can find somewhere to put it. Um, I'll probably use the plugs down there to plug it in. I would leave it upstairs in my sitting room where it was, but um, got a little bit more furniture there since, since I haven't really got the room. Plus, I'm a bit wary on there because when I was using it before, it was called shaking the floor. And I got speaks on stands, and I'm risking them falling off or the TV shaking. Um, and rather than doing any damage to anything, I think it's probably best to bring it down here. But as I say, all this stuff will be off the floor, um, so I'll be a bit more organised. Got myself another doormat to put by there, just to achieve one from the middle. And then what I'll be doing is. Again, I mentioned I'll be putting some artwork up on the walls. Uh, I've got some stuff that's going to put my bedroom and some stuff that's in there already. I'll bring that down and put those on the walls here just to... Uh, so it looks a bit less bare. Uh, I'd say this is all just wood cladding on top so it's easy enough to put stuff on there. Uh, I did also buy a stud detector thing as well. So if I want to put the TV stand up, um, TV bracket on the wall which I bought, and I bought a bracket for the sandbar. Uh, I can just sort of know where I am, but sort of the wall behind and things, so I can make sure I can put stuff up um, without risking it falling off or giving it to new wires or anything. Um, so yeah, I'll be putting artwork around there. Um, I was going to put some there, but because I've got well, I have two of those there, um, I won't have any space, but I might, depending on what... Um, size pictures I've got, I might put one above above there, or some smaller ones. Um, so I've got loads of more postcards. I'm not planning to put anything down there because I wouldn't have any room and I don't want the walls to look too overcrowded but I'll try and bring down a few um, frames, pictures. Probably the larger ones first and then put smaller ones on like for instance that bit of wall. Um, barring any wires behind which I need to worry about. Um, then I'll have, I've I've shoved my little step pads over there at the way, but so I'll be using a bit more there to get a, the higher shelves. Um, obviously, I won't be the shelves here aren't as high to get to as the ones I had before because I had to go up to the ceiling. But probably so handy to have to be able to uh, reach up there um, and definitely up there because that's quite high up anyway. And I've put some empty crates which I've which I've um, cleared out up there. I'll have a lot more empty crates as I um, empty stuff out. So probably find somewhere to put those. Um, yes, yeah, so that's that's all sort of the main things I say. So I'm also have to go back for Karen labelling these um, shelves as I as I sort them out as well. Um, so I think it's going to be probably. A month weather depending i mean if it's if it's dry and there's no snow and stuff then i may start doing some more shelves a bit sooner or cases but probably about a month month or two um it's a bit frustrating because i was doing quite well and i got a few up and then i injured my leg and some other you know my back and this all sort of other things happened i had to put the pro um, project on hold um Probably actually finished all the bookcases, but at least 
if I hadn't, well, there's probably got two or three more up, you know, my side that one left, I'm not sure, but I do want to get them done sort of sooner rather than later because I want to get this sort of organised and I don't want to like, leave stuff on the floor anyway and I want stuff on, on the shelves nicely organised and keep keep it safe and have the room down here to do things but um say so yeah, that that will be a little while but also I'll probably have to be a bit slower put the next one up because I was in a bit of a rhythm putting them up because I've been doing a, f a few at a time but I'd say it's been a while so kind of have to get back in the in the groove of doing them but they're not overly difficult to do so um, and then I need to get a curtain back up there as well because I they took the old one down because of the curtain pole uh, with the bookcase and um, you have to be careful open this door because um, the door had opened fully widened it can bang against this um, edging here so I'm being careful although this door isn't used a great deal um, so it's not too much of a problem so that's basically the um, thing, thing I want to discuss so I have all gone over this, some of this stuff in um, my last video but um, we'll see do sort of change my own couple of things and I have done a little bit of stuff anyway uh, so I thought it's worth doing an update um, and then I've still got the um, situation with what to do with these because I, I do want to eventually replace these but uh, as I mentioned before the problem is with the radiator I can't get the same height bookcases the billy ones so I need to have something which is smaller but I can have the double uh, width on the shelf so I can put two rows of films on rather than one because otherwise I'm I'm not gaining any extra space and possibly losing space because I might not have any many shelves on them and I'm spending money just to be in if not an equal position a worse position in terms of room um, even if I have loads of room spare in that of in, the, in there from doing the bookcases I don't want to be losing space elsewhere because then We'll get to a point where I will be short space um, if I do messing around with these. So I'll keep an eye out. Um, don't know how often I care do new products, but I'll keep an eye on there. And I mean, we'll always look elsewhere as well because it's white furniture, isn't it? It's like, oh, it's brown. And I mean, to make sure it's the same colour brown, like oak or pine or whatever, or black and all sides different black. You know, white furniture is white furniture and it's fairly generic. So um to be a problem I say I've grown to like the white I didn't really want white to start with I wanted black but two things obviously it makes it a bit darker and also it's a lot more expensive uh, but white looks clean it's tied in you know I'm not risking any dust down here or any mess on the shelf so they'll stay they'll stay white <laughs> and so I've got some I've still got some stuff up there and I've just shoved up there if I need to organize but uh when I start learning the shelves, I'm going to have to sort of make piles, work out, obviously in the next two bookcases, what I want to put on there, and then make the piles uh, on the floor, for what's, what's going on to those shelves, and then sort them out, like these Fox Studio Classics, sort those out, make sure I've got more um, one place, and then put them in number order. Or my, th for instance, third window titles, make sure they're all together, and then have a order. Maybe I'll find some more floating around, which I'll put in the crates but uh that's, that's fine i can always um put them on the shelf afterwards like i found some more universal titles which i hadn't um got with the i've had separate to the the lot um so i've got those to put on the shelf but yeah that's basically it and um so i probably won't do uh, another video now until i've got some more progress um as in in the book is a two up so probably will be could be march i mean hopefully sooner but really i would say it's not worth me just doing one uh next time i think i need to do least i want well, i want i want to do at least two i think i need to do at least two um the obviously the thing is putting the um if I put one there, that'll, that'll come down. I'll probably have to take that down, this part unit there, uh, which means I'll have to take this down as well. 
because I won't be able to fit the hole there. One, one across there without um, moving that out of the way because it won't fit. And if I lay that down, where the shelves are, I'm going to have to take that down as well. So, but I might have to do, try and do four in a weekend um, because I'm going to have to take all the stuff down, all these steel books off. And then to put a third one there, I'm going to have to take that one down. And then to put one there, I'm going to have to take that down. So really, I'm going to have to take all this down. All these, well, say, that's sort of three, which would be one big unit in, in effect. So I'm going to take all that down. Basically, all the ones that are in here at the moment, all the old shelving units. Had to take all that down before I put any more in here. Uh, so I'm going to have a lot of um, floor space taken up. I'm going to have to move all these out, obviously. So this will find somewhere to put these. And then all the stuff on the shelves will have to come down as well. So it's going to be really, really messy. But so as I put as the bookcases go up and I start putting stuff on there, then I'm free of space and give myself some room and looks a bit tidier. So that's probably quite a daunting thing. Um, so it is a um, little compact space anyway. I mean, it would have been beneficial for me to um, have been able to replace these and then I could um, get all these back on. And I've got some ones in crates which need to go on some of the Master of Cinema titles or artificial eye. But so I could have cleared a couple of crates up. And also with the room up extreme I'd have on there I'd be able to say put my third window on there or second run so all some of the labels which have come around the floor or in crates and I could have filled up some space straight away and then I wouldn't have to worry about oh, moving all that stuff off because I'd actually have somewhere to put it um, so that would be an ideal situation but unfortunately say due to the space there it's not really uh, a plan I can do but yeah anyway enough waffling on so it's probably March, early March. I should probably do another video just with another update. Uh, say because I'll do when I've done something, you'll see some progress, and then um, hopefully not too much after that. I can get the rest of that finished, and then so this room will look almost back to normal, and then say all the periphery stuff to do as well, which. Um, I mean, I can put some pictures up now. Nothing stop me doing that, but I don't think I'll not well not not now, but I might probably next weekend get some of the pictures up as well, just on the wall. Not freeing space up down next or upstairs, but just to make the walls look a bit better. Um, yeah, so I'll um, see you in a couple of months. Uh, so if you have got any comments or any questions you want to ask, just leave them in the comments mm -hmm. below. Um, don't expect too many people to watch this video. Um, especially to watch the all, all the video because it's 40 minutes and I'm sure you've got a better thing to do with your time but if you do thanks for watching it this far uh, so yeah, leave any comments I'll, I'll come back to you and if it's um, worth noting I'll, I'll um, obviously reply to you and I'll, I'll probably mention it in a, in a video so uh, I'll be doing that uh, so yeah so until my next video thanks for watching I'll see you shortly